I love you, freaky ground cannon thing. Don't ever leave me. Hey everyone, it's Mendes here playing some Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. We're going into this event room after spending some kind of green card. I don't know, I just literally chose a green card entirely at random there. I'm so wacky and random. Oh my god. No one here either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Well, you're in it. You're something, I guess. Voice! Tell me what you tell me what you know, voice. Who are you, voice? Where are my memories? Are you sure you want to see them? I, I really can't tell who that is from the silhouette, and I, I get that that's the point, but it's kind of disturbing that I don't know what's going on in a video game. It's kind of disturbing. Of course I do! Oh my god! The hell? But you cast them aside. To reach the outside world, you pass through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything. All in pursuit of darkness. But darkness is cool! Then what do you have to show for it? Uh, This awesome sword. I think this awesome sword is enough to show for it. First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to throw things away. I've not thrown away this sword. Like your memories. That's why no one is in the castle with you. Your heart is hollow except for the darkness you couldn't quite shake off. Uh, I rejected the darkness, but I still have this sword. <laughs> I still have my sword. My sword is awesome. Okay, well, that was enlightening. Thanks, mysterious voice. <laughs> Truly forever enlightening us forever in this game. So, okay. Off we go. We need to go in this direction because the last thing is here. First thing I noticed, there are no key to rewards rooms doors, which is kind of interesting. So what do you require? A nine or higher card? A nine or higher card? Or a zero card? Well, whatever. Ah, oh, well, I've only got one nine card, so I guess we're going to use that. Really hoping that I don't run out of cards like I did at the end of the last run. <laughs> oh, well. Now I know it's a possibility, it's something I'm going to worry about constantly. But whatever, we got a bunch of uh, bunch of enemies to kill in this room, so let us go ahead and do such a thing. Oh wow. Strong initiative truly destroys all enemies. As long as they appear at the beginning of the fight. Otherwise it doesn't really do a whole lot. I'm going to cut now. Huh. Riku's cards recharge instantly. Somehow I never noticed that. I've never actually had to reload before and it's just like ha huh. Insta reload A eh? Ha huh. Well that was a short little run up to the second event room. What is inside you? I very much have no idea, but we shall waste an almighty darkness in uncovering your secret. The third event room of B12. Apparently, yeah, we're making our way up the tower and we're starting on basement 12, which is kind of crazy. Oh my god, some kind of boss? Some kind of boss? Some kind of Maleficent-shaped boss? I knew you'd return, Riku. Maleficent's alive? Oh my god! Oh no, okay, yeah, you're just a figment of my memory. In that case, I control you! Of all the people I could run in, it had to be you. Snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? Your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see people who exist in that same darkness. People like me. Okay, so so Riku Riku likes darkness then. Okay, that's good to know. Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. Were it not for the darkness in your heart, you would be completely alone. W what? Even voice? Even voice wouldn't be here? Man, I love voice. Poor voice. You once clung to me to sate your hunger for darkness. You want me here. Who else but I can give you the darkness you long for? Oh dear. Don't listen to her, Riku. Don't listen to her. She's trying to poison your mind. There was a time I did want you around. I spread my heart to the dark, but never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. Okay. <laughs> Walk away. Fine. Whatever. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all that. If I'm stuck seeing people like you, people of the dark, I'll take you out one by one. Huh. 
Neat! So we're going to kill everyone and then kill ourselves. Hooray! That is the purpose of the game. Turn to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. I'm like my own enemy. Good to know. I have to fight my inner demons. <laughs> That's pretty much the concept of the game. These are all inner demons of my memory. Okay. Let me end your pain. Alright. Is she really going to go dragon form? <laughs> are we really fighting dragon form? Oh, jeez. Real. Uh, okay, you have a lot less health than when I fought you on <laughs> Sora. <laughs> That's at least one good thing. Hopefully you will have either less abilities or more easily broken abilities. Uh, looks like your abilities are kind of the same. I can't exactly remember, but I th I know you had one like this, and I know. Oh 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 oh! A Mickey card. Let's do it. Let's do a Mickey. Let's do some kind of Mickey. Oh, that gives me. Oh yeah, that gives me like a thing, doesn't it? it? Gives me a platform to stand on, which I'm doing a terrible job at. How do you stand on platforms? Ah, I don't understand the physics of this game. I'm just going to stand off the platforms there. You know what, I, I spent all that time making myself a platform, I'm just going to stand off it, you know. That sounds like a great idea, Mendez. Well done. And is that really the first boss? That's really the first boss, I guess. Hooray. <laughs> that was a challenge. Oh no. However will I beat the first boss of this game? No. No, this is so difficult. Oh no. Yeah, I've been advised to get AP whenever it comes up. And then kind of alternate between darkness and HP. And I think I've been getting a lot of DP, so I'm going to get some HP. Oh man, that diff that boss was the, the epitome of difficultiness. If that makes absolutely any sense. Wow, and we don't even get like an after boss cutscene. It's just like, yeah, you killed a dragon, Riku. You killed a dragon, and that is pretty darn awesome. Zero card. Zero card. Why do I have to synthesize this room? Why me? Surely the game should... The game always synthesizes the last room. God damn it, that means I have to fight things. I have to fight things after the third event room. My god, what the hell? And we are done with this world, so let us move on to whatever the heck we're going to move on to. This direction. Why do you shun the dark? Because, man, I'm afraid of the dark. I need a lot of nightlight, man. You can't, you can't see. There's no fun in the dark. Darkness is your weapon. I need you to accept it. No, my weapon is this awesome sword, for God's sake. How, how many times do I have to say I've got this awesome sword? Stop resisting and accept the darkness. I stop resisting and accept that I've got a sword! You've got to serve me. S serve you? Screw that, I've got a sword. Screw that. Oh my god, hey, it's handsome! <laughs> I, I suspected as much, but yeah. I don't seem surprised. Not tremendously. Hey there, handsome. How is it going? You want to pull me back into the darkness and play Puppet Master again? Sure, that sounds like fun. Now I'm going to surrender to you. No, okay, okay. No? Okay. Great. I don't need to surrender because he is all powerful. Oh, fantastic. A weekly, you couldn't even defeat Sora and you had darkness on your side. Yeah, well, honestly, on my first run of Kingdom Hearts, Riku dick mode was the boss that gave me so much trouble that I could not actually beat the game. So yeah, you know what? You were kind of successful to my, like, 12, 13 year old self. You need the darkness. Submit. Bow to the darkness and bow to me. Okay. Only darkness can help you now. Mickey! That ear looked entirely wrong because of Disney's <laughs> requirement of putting the ears on that side of the head. <laughs> Mickey! Oh my god, Mickey's an actual part of this game? Question mark. Really? <laughs> You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. Sorry. <clears throat> You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. But you have to believe. I have like the best Mickey voice ever, by the way. Totally. Hear that? I'm not losing the darkness today, Ansem. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Are you going to be slightly more... Oh, hey, you got yourself a little shadow dude there. It's that little shadow dude from uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 that I can never actually remember the name of. You're going to shatter some rocks at me. That is not a great idea. Please stop it. Please, dude, stop it. What, Mickey, what do you do? Do you just get broken? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> kind of totally expected that, by the way. Just a little bit. Hey, I've got like more powerful cards now. 
Yes, I have. My deck's changed. Why is my deck changed? My deck shouldn't change. I've got loads of zero cards. Oh my god, I love having zero cards. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Zero cards! Also, I have a lot of cards, actually. Wow, I'm not running out of cards. Like, I'm not reloaded yet. It's just, yep, lots and lots of cards, and I didn't even need to reload to beat you, Ansem. You were just kind of easy there. And that's pretty fantastic. AP! I like attack power. I love attack power because it lets me hit things, and then they go smash, smash, smash. Teams are intent on resisting the darkness. Very well, see with your own eyes. Yay! Cards! They're cards crafted from your memory. Advance through the worlds to they beget, and you will come to understand. Chasing the light will not distance from the dark. You cannot run. Alrighty, let's go. I'll enter these worlds and make my way up Castle Oblivion. I have one more gift for you. Okay, is it a gift voucher? Because honestly, those, those are kind of terrible gifts. Okay. Oh, okay, you tempered the darkness that remains in your heart. Oh, that sounds totally fine. <laughs> Great. Whether or not you use it is your choice. So wait, this is like some power thing that people have told me about in the comments that I can activate dark mode. Why would I want to enter dark mode? Isn't, like, the whole point of the game that we don't have to rely on the darkness? Uh, losing a card break or taking damage will complete DP. Okay... Uh, so wait, are there any disadvantages to entering dark mode? Because honestly, I don't feel like I want to go in dark mode, but the reason I don't want to go in dark mode is because of storyline purposes. Hey, it's Lexius. I don't know these people. Oh, Malusha. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's Vexen. I, I, I'm still getting mixed up between Malusha and Vexen. I can't remember. Actually, I still can't remember which one it is. So this is Zexion and Lexius. Yeah, it's Vexen. Figured. Deplorable. The organization used to be the rope that binds us, and now it's full of kinks. Let it go, Vexen. Alright, so Lexius and Zexion. Okay. I think I shall remember your names. Lexius has brown, poofy, weird, spiky hair, which is kind of weird. Looks like a squid is sat on his head. And Lexius has a mop on his head. Okay. Visitors, I picked up two cents in the castle's lowest basement. Two cents? Wait, is, do, are they counting Ansem? Oh no, one's Maleficent. Okay. She cannot return from the realm of darkness. Okay. Well, apparently she did. Oh my god. The scent belonged to a very convincing double. Okay. So it wasn't Malef Maleficent that we fought. Uh, okay, the would-be Maleficent is no more, and the other visitor is me! Oh, okay, it, it, well, I'm, just, I'm telling you guys, it's me. Uh, scent was very similar to the Superiors. Who is the Superior? Okay, nobody knows. Now what shall we do? Let's all sit around and brood menacingly. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what they're going to do, okay. Seems like a great idea to me. As we move up to basement 11, something tastes kind of funny. Okay, what is it? It's so familiar! Um... Okay... Oh, okay, darkness has a taste. Scientifically, that doesn't make any kind of sense, nor does it seem tremendously possible, but oh well... Whatever... Don't you worry, Riku! Oh, okay. As long as you're here, Mickey. You you and your ball of light. Oh, no, you're, you're real now! Yay! Oh, no, you're kind of... You're kind of a hologram. Uh, can I send a little bit of a power? But I have a request. Okay. A request! I like requests. I've been doing a lot of requests recently in Harvest Moon, so I'm, I'm pretty good at requests. What would you like me to go and collect for you, or grow for you, or something like that? Anything? No? Fight the darkness inside you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've never had a request like that in Harvest Moon. Uh, but don't forget, even in the darkest darkness is always a little light. That also makes no scientific logical sense, but whatever. You and I have seen it, the far off welcoming light inside the daughter darkness. 
The light of Kingdom Hearts, Riku. It'll show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. I can do that. I can believe. I'd like to make myself believe. I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll come. I promise. Okay. Yeah, he's just a hologram. We've already been through this. Oh, we shook hands in our hearts. Oh. If your heart's growing hands, then you might want to get that checked out by a doctor. Or possibly a priest. And that is the end for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. Next time we should go on to floor B11, where we shall be going to either Agrabah or Monstro or Neverland or Travis Town. One of the four of them. Who knows which? Find out next time on Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. See you next time, folks.